In this tutorial video, we will demonstrate how to access and create an ePortfolio on Canvas. Begin by clicking on your account tab and selecting ePortfolios. This will show you any ePortfolios you've created in the past or allow you to create a new ePortfolio. Let's go ahead and create a new ePortfolio by clicking Create an ePortfolio on the right hand side. You have to give your ePortfolio a name. Once it's named, select Make an ePortfolio. Now that we are on the welcome screen, let's take a look at what we have going on here. On the left hand side, you will see how you organize your sections of your portfolio, but more on that in a minute. In the middle section here, you will see a getting started wizard. If this is your first time creating an ePortfolio, it might be beneficial to watch some of these sections here. It'll give you more information on how to create your ePortfolio. Canvas is telling you right now that your ePortfolio is private. And if you're going to want to share it with people, you're going to use this link to share it. Once again, we'll get back to that concept towards the end of this video. Below that, this is how you would add any recent Canvas submissions to a portfolio. So if you recently submitted a thesis, um, it would show up here and you can go ahead and pretty easily add the thesis to your ePortfolio. Once again, more on that a little bit later. This is how you would download the contents of a finished ePortfolio as a zip file. And if ever you needed to, uh, this button would allow you to delete your ePortfolio. Lastly, on the right hand side, this is how you're going to create pages within the sections of your portfolio, and we will demonstrate that soon. So let's go ahead and begin by making the sections of our portfolio. Typically, your professor will have outlined these for you. Um, so if I look here on the left hand side, my starting page is going to be my home page. Then I'm going to go ahead and click Organize Sections. I'm going to click add a section and I might want to add a section called CV. Then I can add another section and call this awards and so on. So basically any section that you want added to your portfolio, you're going to go ahead and add from the left side here. Once I'm done, I would go ahead and click done editing. And if I click done again, I've got a home page, a page for my CV, and a page where I'm going to list my awards. Now that we have our sections set up, we're ready to start editing our pages. So let's go ahead and click on our home page. And you can see our home page is blank. So we want to make some changes to this page. So what we're going to do is we are going to click edit this page. Now our page name here says welcome. I might want to change that to about me, entirely up to you. Um, now I have a little text box here. In this text box, I can say a little something about myself. You know, whatever you want, any type of an introduction you want to give, maybe if you want to talk about the kind of job that you're looking for, whatever you want to say about yourself, you can type that into this section here, okay? You might also want to add an image of yourself, right, to give people kind of an idea of what you look like. It's a nice introduction. To add an image, you'll see on the right-hand side here, it says image file upload. We're going to go ahead and we're going to click that. And what we get is another box beneath here that gives us some options. So what we want to do is we're going to upload a new file. I'm going to go ahead and click browse. This will allow me to find the image that I'm uploading. So I have a little picture of Malloy right here. So I'm going to select it. You can see it is a JPEG file. I'm going to say open. And now I'm ready to upload it. So I'm going to click, you can see it here, Malloy JPEG, and I'm going to click select upload file. And that goes ahead and it pops my image in here for me. Okay. I can go ahead and save my page now. And I'll have, hi, my name is Corey with my image here. 
if I said to myself, you know what, I'd like to put that image of myself above my little introduction, I could go ahead, click edit this page again, and I have the ability to move these boxes around. So if I hover over this, I just let my mouse go, and I see this little arrow here, I can drag this page to be above my introduction here. And if I scroll down and save my page again, now you'll see my image is above, above the little blurb that I would, you know, have in here about myself. So now that we've successfully added an image and some text to our home page or our about me page, let's go ahead and add some items for our CV. So let's go ahead and click CV. Now, theoretically, you could have your CV in a Word document, in a PDF document, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to show you how to add both of those types of files. It's actually the same process for either file, but we'll take a look at how you do it. So here we are. Again, we have a blank page. We want to make changes to our CV page, so we're going to go ahead and click Edit this page on the right-hand side. It's asking for a page name. I'm going to go ahead and call this page CV because that's what I'm going to put on it, okay? And if you wanted to, you could have a little introduction, something like, please click on the link below to see my CV, right? Whatever you wanted to have in this box. Optional. Doesn't need to be there. If you don't want any text, you could just go ahead and delete that right here using that little garbage can. But what we really want to do, the main crux of this page, is to upload a file. So we're going to click Image File Upload. <clears throat> we're going to click Browse to find our file. And here's an example of my CV in PDF form. I'm going to select that, and I'm going to say Open. You'll see it's here ready to go. And I'm going to say Select Upload File. And what it does, it creates a link for me. All right, so that's going to be the link to my CV in PDF form. I'm also going to link to my CV in Word. So I'm going to go to Image File, Upload again. Same steps. Browse. Here's my CV in Word form. I'm going to select it. I'm going to say Open. It'll appear here, ready to go. And I'm going to say Select Upload File. I've got the link to my CV in Word, and now I'm going to go ahead and say Save Page. Okay, so here's my text explaining to the people that might be looking at this, my ePortfolio, what they can do, and then they would go ahead, and if I click this, it would download my CV in PDF form, or if I click this one, it would download my CV in Word form. And then I guess the last um, little kind of tip that I can show you is you might sometimes come across something that you might want to copy and paste into one of your sections. So since I haven't added anything to awards yet, let's go ahead and we'll copy and paste something into our awards section here. So we're going to go ahead and click on awards. Once again, it's a blank page. We're going to click edit this page. We want to make changes. And I'm going to match that page name again. Just seems to make sense to me. And this time we want to open the rich text content editor, right? So if we click on that box, that's when you get that kind of box that you can type in here. Um, so obviously I could go ahead and type in here. Or if I had something I wanted to copy and paste, I could do that as well. So with my rich content editor open, what I want to do is find my document to copy. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to minimize this. And you can see I have Word in the background here. So I would highlight what I want to copy. And I would go ahead and copy it. Now I'm going to bring Canvas back up type in here and hit paste and I'm going to save the page and so here I have here's a list of the awards that I won and the list of the awards so you can obviously you can copy and paste anything so even on the CV page if you had your CV in Word and rather than adding it as a file you wanted to copy and paste it that's how you would do it 
So that pretty much sums up um, how to get started creating your ePortfolio. We've shown you how to add an image, how to add a PDF document, how to add a Word document, and how to copy and paste a document. So that should be enough to get you started.